and a lot of Indians will be happy to hear this, the weakest country in terms of per capita income growth over the last decade has been Canada. During its growth phase, it is 2000, 2015, there is so much to do and they did that. Apart from building that manufacturing uh, you know, enterprise as it were, a powerhouse. Now we have yet to build that manufacturing powerhouse, particularly export oriented, but the rest of it, so much to do exists here today. Starting with urban rejuvenation or rural rejuvenation, getting on to all bits and pieces of infrastructure. Everything needs to be scaled up probably 6x, 7x. So it gives you a long runway. Yes. Uh, how will that play into our own uh, growth path? And uh, the 6% to me then becomes a little easier because we have got all these things to uh, do rather than end up building uh, bridges to nowhere and roads to nowhere. Absolutely. So I think that as far as India is concerned, you know, like I don't think oversupply is a problem, which is the fact that there's so much more we can do. And because of our low base is why we're growing very rapidly. And that's one thing which I want to you know, put in perspective that when it comes to our GDP ranking in the world, we're very proud of number five. But in per capita income terms, we're still 130 in the world. So from a low per capita income, you can grow much more quickly theoretically because as you said, there's so much low hanging fruit for, you know, for us to still pick on. Issue is the fact that how much are we willing to pick on? How much would our polity allow us to do that? And so therefore, I think that hopefully these things will happen and therefore we'll get six or even 7%. But the one biggest pitfall of emerging markets of countries in general is when we take it for granted. We can't take it for granted that even 6% is going to happen no matter what we do. That for me is like a real issue that we have because so many countries in the world I've seen take the growth for granted. I mean, one of my, uh, you know, like um, favorite columns of this year that I wrote was on the list of breakdown nations. I've written about breakout nations in the past, breakdown nations. These are countries which were, which were until very recently hailed as the big economic success stories and just completely fell apart uh, and included both in developed and in emerging markets. The weakest country in Europe today is Germany. Till even four, five years ago, we were all citing Germany as this great, you know, manufacturing hub and, you know, what like they were doing right under Merkel and stuff like that. Now it's become, once again, the sick person of Europe. And in the developed world, and a lot of Indians will be happy to hear this, the weakest country in terms of per capita income growth over the last decade has been Canada. Uh, so in terms of you know, how they have done. So I'd say that these are, and, and again, Canada was hailed after the 2008 financial crisis as one country which had a great banking sector that never suffered from it. All complacency in emerging markets, Thailand, you know, they, it, it, one point in time we used to cite Thailand as the big East Asian economic success story, gone in terms of where it is today. So we can't take it for granted.